run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back in the fishing planet. All right guys, we coming with another hot spot video. I'm gonna show you how to catch trophy large mouth and small mouth bass and long nose gar. You see I got a long nose gar right there ready to go. Now you might catch some red fish pickerel in there every now and then, maybe a shad because they use a lot of the same uh, lures to catch them, but we're gonna show you how to get them. Uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to catch catfish. And if you want to see that video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so you can stay up on top of that. And let me know in the comments that you do want to see more of these. And, and on that note, thank you guys for helping to make my Fishing Planet High Spot videos some of the top Fishing Planet videos out there, man. People really enjoy it. I'm glad they help. Glad they help you guys, man. It really makes me happy to know that these videos are helping you, man. So hit that like button. Subscribe, share, so others can use them and they can be helped as well. And let me know that they are helping you, all right? Now, you see we at North Carolina. Now, one thing I do want to show is how to use poppers. You see I'm using a popper. I'm going to show you my little technique. I'm doing it right now. We got to pop real, pop real, pop real. Poppers work pretty well in this little spot that we're at. Um, I'm going to also show you how to use jigs and some shads that I've been using. Some people have asked about that, and I don't see a lot of people showing how to use those and um and a lift and drop technique all right so we're looking at my fish keeper and in here you see i've caught almost ten thousand worth of fish my net is almost full it holds almost 200 and i've used fluoro i've used braided line i have the braided on right now because of there was a challenge but i'm using a bass caster seven foot ten inches nine to 24 pound test now i, re I recommend not using a, a, a rod that big you can go down to as much as three to five to 10 pounds, a nine pound, 10 pound. I'm using the Council of 300S, that's also 20, but you can use a lesser ride because you will be penalized with the XP using uh, this heavy, a rod and reel setup, okay? And then I'm also using the popper, but again, you can use crankbait, you can use spoons, you can use walkers. There's a variety of spinner baits that you can use to catch bass here especially, all right? But we're gonna hop back in and I'm gonna continue showing you this technique. Now, we are at the spot, uh, I'm gonna try to show it on the map, but we're at the spot, the parking job. You'll see this little truck right here. And you basically wanna cast right where I'm casting or to the right side of the rock, either to the left or the right, or even over there by the tree on the right. And you wanna use this popping technique if you use a popper. You wanna try poppers, crankbait work, um shads work i'm going to show you shad and then some of your other ones your spoons work your spinner baits your worms work all right so and, and let me tell you too north carolina is not a farm okay this is more of a kind of casual lake so this is to show you what lures work i like using spinners for some of these fish like catfish when i do get to that using live bait works but i like using the spinners because you don't have to keep paying for bait all right so just know North Carolina is not a farm. It's not a money farm, okay? Check out some of my other videos if you want one that's just gonna make you a lot of money. But you can make decent money here. Let me tell you, you can make decent money here because this lake is so casual, it doesn't cost a lot to travel here. I think it's only like the thousand or something like that. It doesn't cost a lot to travel here. It doesn't cost a lot to stay here, okay? So that is one of the good things about this lake and why you would wanna fish here. So as you see, I just cast it right here at this spot, right there, you can do it in the middle. You wanna move between that rock, all right? And then you do the pop, you reel, you wanna have it on real speed too. Reel, pop, reel, pop, reel, pop, bam. You see that? You see that? We got us one already, baby. We got us one. And again, you might not get one every single time, but sometimes you will go on a run, a back to back to back to back where you'll get a lot of them over and over, but don't expect that at this lake. And bass are good money. They just don't weigh a lot, so they're not gonna fill you up quick. But look at that, a trophy largemouth bass, five pounder. Now you get enough trophies, it'll fill you up, but you're not gonna catch 10, 15, 20 pound uh, fish here. If you wanna do that, go to Canada. Check out my Canada video on White Moose Lake. You'll catch a lot of money, uh, a lot of fish there, good money there. Emerald Lake is a good farm. Florida's a good farm. Cali's a good farm, all right? I'm gonna do Cali as well, but it costs a lot of money. You gotta have a large keep net to get the best fish, okay? Um, you also need a large keep net if you catch the trophies and the uniques um, in 
Alberta. But you'll you'll earn a lot of money there. Just go check out that video, all right? So again, we're using poppers. We popping. You want a real pop, real pop, real pop, real pop, pop, real pop. You just keep using this technique, and again, on real speed too, and you'll eventually catch some fish. And again, alternate. Don't keep exactly throwing out in the same spot. Sometimes it works, but sometimes you want to go over to the right. All right. We're going to cast one more time, though, in this same spot. Oops. <laughs> that happens. That happens to the best of us. All right. Let me reel this back in. So we're going to cast right back out at this rock. All right. Yeah. And, um, and we're going to continue to pop. So you want a real pop real pop real pop sometimes you can even go to the left of the rock formation too closer to like the car in that direction bam but look at that real pop ah we almost had us one do we got us one yes yes there we go there we go there we go I almost wasn't sure we had us one. Oh, that's a red fin pickerel so you will catch some red fin pickerels using this technique as well. They like similar uh, baits and lures. All right, we're gonna go right back to the well one more again. Right back one more again. And again, you wanna reel. Lift your nose up a little bit to the top of the rock. I like right there at the top. It might work if you keep it down, but I find that where you place your rod makes a difference. So you wanna reel, pop, reel, pop, reel, pop. Again, right here, you're gonna catch mostly bass small mouth and large mouth but you will catch some guard too um it'll just be less frequent and i'm gonna do another video dedicated to just gar but again this will get you the decent money and you'll fill your net up eventually but you want a real pop real pop a lot of times when you get right by this moss you'll hit a fish right there too so you want a real pop real pop real pop real pop you do it all the way in sometimes you'll get a hit right before uh you reel all the way in all right real pop all right and then you want to move over here sometimes by this tree and you want to cast all right real pop real pop real pop sometimes just alternating back and forth to this tree throw there and then throw back over to the left by the other part of the rock then come back over here by the tree if you just go back and forth back and forth you usually get some success because it'll give the fish who got scared time to come back so you want real pop real pop real there we go bam got us another one got us another one got us another one and i catch a lot of trophies um, but that popper is a three fourth ounce. It's a four arc. Look at that, a trophy smallmouth. Check that out. Check that out. Blam. Blam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna go right back to the well one more again. Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. We're gonna real pop. Real pop. Lift that nose up. Real pop real pop real pop real pop and again you just continue doing this technique all right again guys let me know what other fish you want to see let me know what lakes you want to see um again i'm trying to get the ones that are least expensive oh look at that look at that we got us another one we got us another one but yeah the ones that aren't too expensive and you can still catch fish that you can make a decent amount of money bass are great per pound oh that's a young large my bass you'll get a few of those in there as well the youngs the youngs moving down the west side highway all right so now we're gonna do we're gonna switch it up we're gonna switch it up real quick all right and again i'm right here at the great parking job that's the spot also looking at the weather and coming at the peak time is always great that will help now i do get a lot of activity late at night after five all right after five works really well for me but um usually the peak time even in the morning this lake is real sensitive to the peak time especially when we get to the catfish but we'll get there but even with the bass with the gar the peak times fast forward to them to get some of the best uh activity out of this lake all right get your activity activity 
<laughs> okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and switch up to that jig head it's a four out uh, half ounce I'm gonna go with shad now this lime green um, swamp green shad yo it's serious the other shads work I've used the silver and I've gotten some good catches for the silver but the uh, swamp green shad is the one that I've got the best activity with okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and aim at this tree once again or anywhere in this area to the right to the left you'll get some decent action and to start out we're gonna do uh, just a stop and go um, stop and go is like the traditional go-to for fishing planet you'll always get pretty good activity at any lake using stop and go it just depends on what speed you use um, but usually either real speed 2 or real speed 3 depending on the lake depending on the lure stop and go is gonna work and you can do that here as well with spoons spinners um, not crankbait I like to keep that at one set speed and real but most of your other ones a stop and go will work so again try the jig head use the swamp green shad 3 use the biggest one you have if you have a jig head and it only goes up to 2 odd, then that's what you go with but because I have a 4 odd, I try to get the biggest size possible and you get better reels so again we stop and going we stop and go real up uh, uh, there we go uh, there we go there we go there we go uh. oh a trophy another trophy small mouth bass now my reel is very strong here as I said um you might want to use a rod with a lesser weighted uh, poundage and the reel as well you only need about 10 at this lake 9 or less once you get over that 10, you're gonna start getting penalized for your XP. But if you wanna reel them in quickly and you only care about the money and not so much the XP, then you can use the uh, real rod, uh, the tackle setup that I am using, all right? All right, so next we're gonna do lift and drop with this cast. Lift and drop, I don't see a lot of people showing that off. So you lift and then you reel on your way down. You lift and then you reel on your way down. You can also do a slow lift one where you lift and hold oh oh we got a hit already check us out check us out but you can do a lift where you hold it and let it sit up real high and then bring it down what we get that like a red fin yeah red fin pickerel red fin pickerel okay all right so we're gonna go right back to go back to from whence we came right here on the left side of the rock i go to the rock uh, yes, I go to the rock and we're gonna do that lift and drop now again You can do a quick lift reel down lift reel down. That's the quicker one You can also do a slower one where you lift and hold it. Let it get really high you lift Ooh, I had a hit you lift and hold it and you reel you lift reel lift reel So you can go those are like the two different speeds you really can do a third mixed in there but those are the two that I either use. I do the slow lift, you know, hold it for a second, reel down, hold it, reel for a second down, hold it, reel for a second. Or you can do the quicker one that I was doing initially. You'll get activity from both. Oh, oh, we got a hit. Oh, we got a hit. All right, let's go on and reel this thing in quick like, oh, hold on. It's going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. What in the world? 80, 81, 82. Oh, this one is fighting. This one is fighting. Is this a big one? Is this a big boy? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, this thing is going 100. It's running. I mean, luckily, I got 600 feet on here, but dang. This thing is, what is this? Is this a huge catfish? Is this a unique catfish? I don't even remember that this lake had unique catfish. I don't know if it had trophy cat. <laughs> what is this i mean the only the only thing that are this big are the catfish oh and carp but you don't normally catch carp with a spin ride carp are usually gonna be always bait um you throw it you let it sit there and then they'll catch um or they'll bite i've never well i won't say never would never say never um, I'm gonna try to find a way to catch carp with a spin rod, but yeah, that's usually with uh, your feeders or your match ride. 
the one where you sit with a float and bait. So man, this thing is fighting. What is this? What is this, yo? This thing is, is this thing is serious, and it's still running. It's at 90, 91. Oh man, oh man, yo. And while I'm reeling this, man, guys, I can say hit me with a like. If these videos help, man, like, subscribe, if you're not subscribed, share. If you want to support and you love these videos and then you want me to do more and be able, yo, if you want to check out my PayPal, if you want to support that, yo, it's all appreciated, man. But just watching the videos and y'all showing that love and, and helping these videos do what they do, man, and, and really get all these views has been amazing. So thank you to everybody who supports. I'm really, really happy that it helps. And I'm really, really trying to figure out what this fish is. <laughs> it's still at 100 feet. Yo, what is really going on? <laughs> Whew, come on. We wearing whatever this thing is down. We wearing it down. Come on, 80. There we go. There we go, 70s. Come on. 60s, come on. He trying to go the other way. Ugh, he trying. If at first you don't succeed, oh man, yo, this thing is going back out. Like, what's really going on? What the is going on between the cheese and my home? <laughs> like, okay, we finally under 50. Like, wow, we are finally under 50. Okay, I think this jammy. Maybe this is a unique catfish. I don't remember when I looked at the fish types if I saw unique catfish or unique garb. Cause yeah, it's like unique catfish. Like, like <laughs> this thing got to be heavy and it's still fighting. What is what is this? Oh, a northern snakehead, yo. This thing is ugly. 17 pounds. And you only get 363 for this, though. You only get 363 for this. That's That ain't nothing. You know what? I'm, I'm fishing right, and this is... I'm doing this right at the uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's around St. Patrick's Day. I think this is one of those St. Patrick's Day special fish they want you to catch at these lakes. Yeah, I think that's what this is. This ain't even on the, the fish charts or the, uh, you know, the fish joint for this lake. But look at this jammy, though. Look at this jammy, though. Let me get a snapshot. Can I get a flick with you? Can I get a flick with you? Yo, this thing is huge. Well, I mean, depending on when I get this out, I think it's a couple days for St. Patty's. You might can use this technique to catch these. Um, it must be late in the evening because this pushing seven, eight o'clock. Had to get a picture with that. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. So these joints must come out at eight because I haven't caught one before that. That thing filled my net up. Good goo dee Like, yo. Okay. I did not expect to catch that, but I mean, good enough. Good enough. So yeah, if you are looking for that snakehead, if they bring it back, I guess, and they do something like this again, um, if it's past St. Patrick's Day, this is a place where you can catch them. All right, so we're gonna throw it back out there and we're gonna get back to our lift and drop. Again, a lot of folks don't do lift and drop. When you start lift and drop initially, you lift, you reel, you lift, you reel. If it hasn't got to the bottom, you'll usually twitch. It'll, it'll consider it twitching but they kind of go hand in hand and you'll still get decent results all right but now that it hits the bottom it's a lift and drop so lift real lift real lift real lift real again this is your technique to get you with your lift and drop you can do the slow one or you hold it for a second real oh and we got another hit and we got another hit. And we got a, oh yeah, this will come in quick. This gotta be a bass, either a small mouth or a large mouth. Look at that, another trophy, small mouth bass. We getting trophies all over the place. Trophies all over the place. Let me get my trophies. Let me go on and put them in the trophy rack. And to keep net full, so we are gonna have to release something since bass are such a uh, good monetarily for the size you see that that's a four pounder and it's 300 
that snakehead was like what 18 pounds and he still only made 300 or something so yeah the small mouth and the large mouth they get the best money per pound you just don't have a lot of lakes where it's like you're gonna find a 10 12 pound bass or 15 pounds 16 pound bass where you can really make some good money and capitalize off that but um yeah that's crazy that's crazy yeah you don't really get a lot at all for that northern snakehead but it is for the contest or or whatever little missions and objectives they have for saint patrick's day all right so we're gonna go back over here to the left bam get our reel on get our reel on bam look at that real quick with the lift and drop real quick with the lift and drop yes sir yes sir okay and this one is coming in pretty fast all right it's coming in hot it's coming in hot it's coming in hot it's coming in hot what is this oh that's a gar oh we got another long nose gar yes sir six pounds for the 144 so the long nose gar don't do good money either but again that's why i said if you come to north carolina Unless you're just fishing for bass, which again, unless you get trophies, they aren't gonna go over five pounds. You're not gonna make a ton of money per fish. But it is cool to catch the guard. It's cool to catch the catfish. I think they need to adjust it, but as we know, the people fishing playing today, they ain't adjusting. They got the prices the way they want them. Oh man, we got another hit real quick. Okay, this, ah oh Lord, this is another heavy one. This gotta be that snakehead again. It must be snakehead season. But yeah, gar, catfish, other bass, the shad. I haven't caught any carp. I'm gonna work on carp. I know that carp, you can't catch those with a reel. You basically can only catch carp with um, bait, which means you know you gotta throw it out there and either use a feeder um, with a float, or if you're not using the feeder, use a match rod, something with a float or all the feeder with a bell where the, it just sits there and wait on the fish to arrive. So yeah, but I, I work on that and getting carp eventually, just to show you guys. Carps are usually big and very heavy, but I don't know what their payout is. They actually may pay pretty well for this lake. I, I just don't know, but I'll find that out. Let me know in the comment box if you do want to see me a learn carp. Want to see some videos on that. I'm trying to think, um, yeah, any of the fish types, even a shad. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Yeah, this thing is fighting. This thing is fighting. So, yeah, this must be a snakehead once again. Come on. Come on. Yeah, these jammies is serious. Now, you'll catch large fish like this. If you want to catch a big fish that has a good payout, then definitely go to Alberta and check out my Alberta video, Alberta, Canada, Canada White Moose Lake. Now there you'll catch 20 pounders, but you'll make like $1,200. Okay. Now it's costly. It is costly. It costs like 4,000 a day and it costs about 7,000 to travel out there. But you can fill your net up. If you start at 5 a.m. and you fish using the technique I show you in the video, you can fill your net up by like nine and have made 10 Gs. That'll cover your seven. One fill up of the net will cover your seven. Um, plus it'll cover, it's the license that's for, excuse me. It only costs like a thousand a day to stay there, but it's the license that's for. So if you do like three or four days before your license is up, where you run through, fill up your net real quick, you can make 20, 30 thou wow before your license expire. It pays for itself when you gotta spend that seven or four, that 11,000, you'll, you'll make it back, but you gotta have the time to sit there. And it's like that with a lot of the more expensive lakes uh, like California, you just gotta have the time to sit there to make your money back because it costs so much. But that's, that's another reason why North Carolina is a decent lake. You see, I'm pushing 30, 40,000 you know, you just got to take time, sit here, fish, and have a good time. So I'm, I'm really just trying to get this thing in, man. This thing is is crazy. It is taking forever. 
goodness gracious. Okay, he's coming in now, finally. He's coming in now, finally. Yeah, this has to be that same fish, that snakehead. Come on. You would think this thing was a unique. Look at that, goodness, the northern snakehead. But again, only 373 for an 18 pound fish. Yeah, the 18 pounders at a white moose, you'll, you'll make a G or 800, 900. Oh, okay, I got a unique gainer. So I got a, I completed a challenge, catch a certain number of unique fish. Now that is a unique fish. Um, I don't think it's gonna stay at the lake. Okay, all right guys, so I wanted to show you um, some of the other fish I caught real quick. Just a little hot mix, caught a little um, largemouth bass. Now this is 4 a.m., so this is near uh, basically the end of the day before 5 a.m. hits. I had kind of got my technique down, and I'm using a crankbait. So just to show you real quick what you can get with a crankbait, still throwing the same way, throwing right at the, uh, the rocks. Anywhere in those rocks is good. You just gotta watch out for the moss, those little weeds right there. Now with the crankbait, all you need to do is do a real speed one and then just do a straight reel. Real speed one, just do a straight reel and just reel it on in, reel it on in. Reel it on in, bam, bam, bang, bang, bang. All right, so we caught something here. Oh, and this, this joint fighting a little bit too. This one fighting a little bit too. I don't think this is another one of those snakeheads though. I could be wrong. But yeah, this one got a little fight to it. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, uh, come on, come on. It's supper time. Y'all don't know nothing about it. It's supper time. Uh, oh, is, is that a gar? Is that a gar? Oh, we caught a unique gar. We caught a unique. We caught a unique gar. 18 pound. Not only get 500, but yo, just for the love of the fish and for the love of the game, baby, we got a unique long nose gar. Had to show y'all this. Had to show y'all this. Yo. Yo. And that's with the crankbait, all right? You can catch those gar with the crankbait. Got a unique. That it was up. You don't catch a lot of unique. Your boy called a unique. She's unique. Yeah. She's unique. A super unique. Super unique. She's super unique. Eh? Yeah, we'll throw right here by the tree. We're going to check this one more again before we get up out of here. One more again. All right, and again, guys, let me know in the comment box if this helps you, all right? Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check it out. If you really want to support the channel, I have a Patreon. I can, it will help. I can put more time into working on these vids as it takes a lot of grinding to keep going on fishing plan, man, because they make it real grindy, and you barely make enough money to move around like you want to. But uh, just like, subscribe, share, all that help, and all that is appreciated, guys, all right? Oh, and we got one more hit. We got one more hit. Let's see, this gotta be a bass. Oh, and a trophy largemouth bass. I think we're gonna go out on that. I think I'm good with that. We can end on the trophy largemouth bass. All right, guys, so again, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can check this out. Let me know in the comment box if this helps you guys. And let me know if you wanna see more. Let me know what lake you want to see. Let me know what lake you want to see. I'll work on it. Let me know any fish that you wanna see at certain lakes. Put all that in the comments and I will work on those things. All right, guys. Charles Mackerel, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. Catch them big fish. Get out there, man. Just like make you some money or have you a good time casually doing your thing. All right. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm a hot ledge. Peace. Real. Oh, and we got one more. And we got one more. Uh oh. I was trying to end it out, but we got one more. There it is. Largemouth bass. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm a hot let you. Peace. Ow.
run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I 